Agent Brad. The IMF is not just a rogue organization. It is a disgrace. About halfway through attack, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, I was kind of getting lost in the plot, and then I realized, who gives a shit about the plot? It's really just about the action sequences and trying to figure out which character is on the side of good and which is on the side of evil and deception and duplicity and all that wonderful stuff. This is the fifth time Tom Cruise has played Ethan Hunt, and it's really becoming his James Bond. It's perfectly suited for Tom Cruise. He gets to be charming, he gets to be dashing, and he gets to do all those amazing stunts. This film has two, no, I take it back, this film has three amazing action sequences. One where Tom Cruise is on the side of a plane, another one where he's underwater, and my favorite is set in a Vienna opera house. Rebecca Ferguson shows up, she plays Ilsa, who could be an agent, or maybe she's a double agent, or maybe she's a double, 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 double agent. Bing Rames and Jeremy Renner are on hand as Ethan's loyal sidekicks. There's a lot of back and forth and trying to figure out who's good and who's evil. The action is fantastic. Tom Cruise, one of his best roles. It's really becoming a signature role for him. I really dug Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. This is one of the few franchises that keeps getting better with each film. The fifth, the fourth, and the third are way better than the second and the first.